Hello, this is Dan with Novice No Longer, and you can see my face right there. And congratulations on deciding to make your very own website. I'm going to walk you through the entire process of how to uh, sign up with Bluehost, get a domain name, get hosting, and get WordPress launched. And it's super, super simple. Basically, if you go to Novice No Longer slash resources, you can see that that's where I am now. You can scroll down. Right here is web hosting. This is Bluehost. This is my affiliate link here. So you click this and you go through and that brings you to Bluehost. Once that's loaded, get started now. Easiest way to do it. What we're gonna do next is enter in the domain that you want. Uh, they're gonna give it to you for free. I'm gonna do NNL tutorials just because novice no longer tutorials works for me. Go next. All right, now once this loads, you're gonna enter in all of your information. Great, once that's done, you can go down here. I'm just gonna do 12 months. You can do 24 months, 36 months, even more. It's gonna save you more money. You can see this is only $5 a month versus $7 a month, but I'm just gonna need 12 months. And then you can go through, you can just uncheck these. These are optional settings that you can do, but they're not really necessary, so you don't need to do that now. Then enter in your billing information. Great, and then make sure this is checked. You confirm to the to agree to the terms and then press next. Fantastic, now these are gonna be upgrades. So you can see upgrades, these are things that aren't really necessary. You can scroll down to the bottom right here. Uh, if you wanna pass on these products for the time being, click there, you're just gonna click that. Fantastic, congratulations. We officially have nnltutorials.com and we're going to create our password for this account. So create your password. You can see it has a lot of rules for the password. Uh, I always recommend just using a password generator. Easy peasy. Paste that in there. This is all good. Um, also use a password manager. That way you don't have to worry about forgetting this. It's definitely the easiest way to do that. And then press create. Can see that it prompted me to save that so I'm gonna save great so now I'm gonna log in great so that'll bring you here next thing you're gonna do is click on home and this is gonna be your home base this loads up, it asks for help, resources, you don't really need that. Your cPanel is going to be where you're able to manage everything related to your hosting and your domain. There's a lot of different options there. You don't really need to know much of this. All we're gonna be doing is going through to the website builder and we're gonna be installing WordPress because it's really basic, really easy. And with cPanel, they give you a one-click install for installing WordPress. So once you click on that, it'll bring you into the section where, of course, trying to log me in again. Click on one click installs and then WordPress right here. That's exactly what you're gonna to wanna to install. Then you can see install right here, brand new instance. Great. So I usually like to install it without the www dot. You can do it also with, doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna select that. I'm gonna leave this blank because I wanna install it at the root, which basically means when you go to nnltutorials.com, you're gonna to go to the blog rather than slash blog or whatever else. All right, now I'm gonna go and show advanced options. And this will allow me to set the title for the website as well as the admin username and password. I'm gonna change this username something I use I am Dan all the time I used to be I am Dan.com and then your password make sure that you are writing this down and you are saving this somewhere and automatically create the new database that's what you want you've read the terms perfect install now
And you can see at the top, it says high five. Your process is underway and you can browse while it's going on. This can take a few seconds, so just hang tight. It'll prompt you, see if you want to set up a theme. You don't really need to do that. You can close out of it. Bam, and we're done. Just click on view credentials right here. So you can go here and you can see that this is where the URL is. This is how you log in. So I'm gonna open that in a new tab, then username and password. So I'm gonna type in username, my password right there. And bam, I officially have a WordPress blog. And you can see here, if you scroll up to the top and view site, this is what your website looks right now, looks like right now because this is the default theme. And uh, in a few other tutorials, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do once you have a fresh WordPress install and then walk you through how to set up and make your first posts.